Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Today marks the feast of two apostles, about whom we do not know a great deal, St. Simon and St. Jude. We know that Simon was known as Simon the Zealot, and Jude, for many, many centuries, was never venerated because people confused him with Judas Iscariot, who betrayed the Lord. Jude, we know, is also the patron saint of hopeless causes. We invoke their intercession at our Mass this morning. We hear in the Gospel the account of our Lord calling his apostles. But what is significant, I think, I was reading over it in the parochial house this morning, what's significant is before he called his twelve apostles, the Lord spent the night in prayer. So, that's a reminder, I think, to all of us, before we have to make any big, important decision, that we take time to pray about it. To prepare ourselves to celebrate Mass, marking the feast of St. Simon and St. Jude, we pause for a moment to call to mind our sins and to formulate our respective intentions for this morning's Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you. you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, the mighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord, 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 Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant for the intercession of St. Simon and St. Jude that the Church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundation and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned with him, all go into one holy temple in the Lord. And you too, in him, are being built into a house where God lives in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, their word goes forth through all the earth. Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. 
day unto day takes up the story and night unto night makes known the message. The word goes forth to all the earth. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their spam goes forth through all the earth. Their works, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. The word goes forth to all the earth. Please stand to read the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. The glorious company of the apostles praise you, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with, with you. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went out into the hills to pray, and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When day came, he summoned his disciples and picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground, where there was a large gathering of his disciples, with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem, and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear them and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured, and everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him because power came out of him that cured them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Response. To our prayers of intercession this morning is, Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ, for he promised to be with his church until the end of time. With confidence in his promise, we pray. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. In all things, we are victorious through your love. Take us into your care today. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Let the love of your Holy Spirit be in our hearts, so that we may consecrate this day to you. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Help all Christians to answer your call. May they be salt to the earth and light to the world. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. We pray for all those in industry. May they work in harmony for justice and for the good of the whole community. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. For all who are poorly in mind or body at this time, at home, in a nursing home or in hospital, for all who are receiving treatment of one kind or another, for those who are preparing to undergo or recovering from surgery. We pray for the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes and Saint Bernadette, that Christ the Good Shepherd may strengthen, encourage and sustain them all at this time. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. We pray also for all those families, especially in our own parish, who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Pray at Mass this morning that God will replace their sense of loss and desolation with his very own divine support and divine consolation. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. We pray also for all who are suffering the consequences 
of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims who have died. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. I ask your prayers this morning for three very special intentions. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. And lastly, we remember the dead. We remember in a special way this morning, Gerald Harker, whose month's mind occurs today, Kevin O'Connor, Siobhan Devlin, Charles McNally, Edward Mulholland, and James Mulholland, all of whose anniversaries occur today, while we continue to keep in our prayers those who have died of recent days and weeks, remembering especially Leo Coleman, Baby Anna McGuigan, Lucia Freitas, Catherine Patterson, Lee McAlinda, and Lena Belfast, and formerly of Ashley Heights, Dennis Perry, Brian O'Neill, James McCurdy, Brian Hamill, Regina Greer, Rosie Keegan, and Barney Larvin. We pray through the intercession of St. Simon and St. Jude that God may grant these and all our own deceased loved ones a merciful judgment and an eternal repose. Stay with us, Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Lord God, you taught us to call upon your name through the preaching of the Apostles. At the intercession of St. Simon and St. Jude, may your church continue to grow by an increase in the number of believing nations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for us. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles, St. Simon and St. Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with, with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock. For through the blessed apostle, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and 
through the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, heaven and earth, your glory, O Son of the Lord, blessed the sea from the name of the Lord, O Son of the Lord. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Eamon, our Bishop Michael, his assistant bishop, Sean, our retired bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised, to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. My Lord and my Lord. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting 
salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in the field, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, life, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those all to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter the Lord of my group, that only say the word my soul shall be.
Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. O sacrament, the most holy, o sacrament, o sacrament divine, divine, all, all praise, praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, the most holy, o sacrament, o sacrament divine, divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament, the most holy, O sacrament, the most holy, O grace and all thanks to give it, be every moment down. O sacred heart of Jesus, I pierce all my trust in you. Immaculate heart of Mary, bear for us. O angel of God, my guardian, dear, to whom God's love admits me here, ever this day be on my side, to light the guard, to guide the truth. intercession of our Heavenly Mother by praying together these memorari, praying for protection from this coronavirus. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that there was of no one that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided, inspired by this confidence of my own fear. O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you do I come before you I stand, simple and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer me. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Sin Simon, pray for us. Sin Jude, pray for us. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. That the perpetual light shine upon them. Amen. May their, their souls, souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest, rest in peace. peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honour the glorious passion of the Apostles, Simon and Jude, may keep us ever in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with, and with you. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.